Hi, welcome back. This is the Kello Gamer. Long time now video on here. Recent project of mine. I uh, was taking a look at some of the uh, Neo Geo AES games that are floating around and they're, uh, they're quite expensive. And I uh, like the route that a good many of uh, your Neo Geo fans have taken. I decided to invest in a Neo Geo MVS. Now, this is uh, Neo Geo MVS. MV1FZ model, um, which I've managed to consoleize using a super gun setup. You can see the super gun board there. Um, what I did, I've, uh, I've added a ATX power supply. Just uh, added a flip switch to control the, uh, the dip switch settings. You can see down in there, possibly. Just about to see the reflection from it. So yeah, that allows you to alter the, uh, the the dip switch settings and things on boot up. And also I managed to uh, change out the BIOS. I managed to get a universal uh, BIOS, the 3.3 version. It's made by uh, and supplied by UniverseBIOS.com. It's a guy called Rizula, who co Rizula, sorry, who codes these up. Um, keeping the original BIOS in that little Game Boy Advance uh, container under there. And say, so, uh, yeah, picked this MVS board up oh, probably about six weeks ago now. And I thought I'd uh, consoleize the thing, but uh, I didn't really want to go into too much uh, detail modifying it. I just wanted to add a super gun and just put it into a casing just to play the thing because as long as it was. Uh, aesthetically pleasing for me and it didn't look too bad I thought I'd just stick it in this case I was looking about for some custom cases but in the end all I did is I just managed to find this uh, well I got an old uh, flatbed scanner and I managed to uh, dissect it modify it, cut out uh, an area for the power supply and power switch and you say the uh, the MVS fits inside there. So this little flap just allows you to access all the other bits and pieces. And say so these sections here, I managed to cut out and fit. So that's like an access flap it allows you to get to that dip switch. So also I'm going to add these little latch switches as well, which allow you to uh, select, say credits and um, say for instance a pause facility but uh, obviously to the Unibios those features are actually available direct from uh, the input on the uh, the controller port so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to bother adding these because uh, I do like how, the, how sleek the system looks anyway so this was um, originally white in colour well, like a light grey colour the uh, so it sort of comes apart here. There's bits and power supply. Uh, it was like a grey colour originally. This uh, plastic uh, casing. Let's say remove the innards from the uh, flatbed scanner. And just uh, made these sections to fit around. For when it's in use, I so I added the oops, added the uh, the vinyls, the Neo Geo vinyls. Picked those up on eBay. I've also got some MVS um, Crown Metallic uh, stickers coming. I'm just going to finish off the unit with those. I think so. Yeah. Also managed to pick up a few MVS games. A lot of these you picked up like super cheap from Japan. I see some for. Like up at less than 20 quid, somewhere about 12 quid, I think. Uh, King of Fighters 99, because it's got like a sort of damaged label there. I think I picked that one up for something like 12 quid from Japan, plus the post. It's probably almost as much as the posty. I was saying King of Fighters 2000, 99, 98, and 97. That completes my King of Fighters collection, because I only collect up to 2000, because I don't really want to collect after 2000, because that's when. Uh, SNK changed and became um, Playmore. Well, 
and then the sort of the systems the you know sorry the game sort of deteriorated in quality in my opinion um, do, you know, don't remember there are a few good games released after when the play more uh, continued with uh, SNK but uh, the, all the good stuff to me were pre play more years uh, you got Chris the Dark Combat um, Real Boat Fatal Fury which I've got Real Boat Fatal Fury special that's on order that's due at any time now it's probably within a week or so um, Samurai Showdown 4 um, I managed to pick up The Last Blade but it's a really tatty label on the on the on the uh, the cartridge for the last blade, but I only paid about forty odd quid for that, which is real cheap. UK seller, free post. Um, Spin Masters. Pick that one up. That was uh, less than fifty quid. Uh, managed to pick up Metal Slug X, Metal Slug Two, and Metal Slug. Now the Metal Slug, uh, it had a. Uh, like a, a fake English label over the top of it, which I've removed because I prefer the Japanese label. But I'm probably going to print off some labels to replace some of the damaged labels that I've got anyway. So, yeah, I've uh, been busy with the MVS of recent, and I say it uh, plays well, and I'm quite happy with the look of the system. I mean, it's, it's quite a big system to look at, it's, it's, it's quite a sizable console as such. If you want to call it that, but yeah, I'm quite happy with the overall uh, look of it. Look of it, to be honest. And I say the uh, the cartridge uh, assembly is quite good because all I do is I just remove the the flap, which gives you access to the cartridge slot. It's just put that down there. Just grab a cartridge. And all you do is in click. Jobs done. And again, to remove the thing, it's purely again slide it out, and away you go. So to me, being a horizontally positioned um, slot MVS system, don't really bother me. So yeah, again, as always, thanks for viewing.